Hello and welcome to, um, well as you can see from the title, John Wick 3 Parabellum in <sighs> review. I'm joined today by James. Hello. Always here, James. I am always here as I am on every review. <laughs> There's more than one person. Not just review, every bit of content we have out. But I'm uh, really excited to get into this one um, because John Wick 3 has solidified John Wick as one of the greatest trilogies of all time. I'm just going to jump it in has. and say this film is so good. Uh, I just went and looked it up fantastic. just to see where it was on my anticipated list. It was number three for the year. Ooh, was, um, it, was, it, was it on mine? I think it might have been on yours because you're a sensible person who would put person. it who would put it on their list. It seems um, like it's going to be a good year for film though, which is it does. Um, I reckon it was. It must have been in the ten. Otherwise, I'm going to be disappointed in you. It was. It was number seven. That's that's number fine. Seven. It was in there, which yeah. is acceptable. Um, John Wick is such a weird friend. It just came out of nowhere. Um, and completely dominated. Yeah, it started uh, out as that the, film this that action franchise. The, the real word of mouth, like giant. Yeah. Like, have you seen Have you seen John Wick yet? Have you seen John Wick yet? You've got to see John Wick. This is great from John Wick. Yeah. And you kind of hear the premise, like you know, oh, yeah, it's, it's like assassin, like someone kills his dog. You yeah. Know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll check it out. But it's like the unique, uh, not only action in it, which mm. is you know incredible, and yeah. as I say, it is unique. But it's the the, the subtle world building yeah especially in the first one you don't get much of it but there's nice little seeds planted for what they could do in the future and then it, obviously when they come to chapter 2 they expand on that quite a lot and again um, in this one and again in this one it's a, a, it's it's a, a natural the progression it is so it's so brilliant that, you know because you could so easily have and so many films do this as well we mm. just have that moment of like you know in a world where yeah. hitmen can go to hotels and not, you know, and they, yeah. they explain it all away or with stupid dialogue. This they just throw you in it and you just kind of catch up. And yeah, you just kind of like, you know, you're forced to sort yeah. of think, like, oh, okay, so this is what's going on, and that's kind of perfect because it's yeah. just that, you know. It's just accepting the world as like what it is, and like it it treats the audience as like we're not stupid. Like exactly. we we know we know exactly. exactly. We we don't need to know everything. Like we just we will just accept whatever's put in front of us. And like I really respect because at the end of the day, you're here to watch Keanu Reeves shoot some people, exactly. and or not just shoot some people, kill some people, in with whatever whatever ways problem. whatever ways he can and. They really take it up a gear. Yeah, I mean, this film keeps you guessing. Every yeah. second you're like, what's he going to kill someone with this Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like, that, that's not something like you'd particularly think, but then it's like, it's John Wick. Like, he right could, do, he until, could do anything. Right up to the very end, I didn't know what was going to happen next. Yeah. And I think that's a real testament to what this film does as a whole, because yeah. it not only expands the lore again, not only takes the action to new heights, mm. but it does just it keeps you guessing start to finish in a great way, the yeah. best possible way. Yeah, I mean, everyone always talks about the action in this franchise, and they, they just keep upping themselves, and it just gets more and more impressive each time. Obviously, uh, Keanu Reeves, I think it came out, he said he did 98% of the stunt work in this film, yeah. which is incredible. Um, and I think Halle Berry did a lot, uh, like trained a lot as well for the. She doesn't have a huge role in the film. No, but I had to say I wasn't particularly a fan of her as well. She was yeah. probably one of the, 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 the weaker parts of the film. Yeah. Me. Um, but I, I didn't mind her as much. I thought I thought she did well the little amount that she was in. Um, yeah. Uh, I want to talk about the gorgeous cinematography. Yeah, uh, again, so something that c keeps upping themselves. You've gone from what feels just like a plain uh, standard film that you get in the first one and then kind of upset a little bit and now it's become this sort of I don't know I, I'm, I'm a sucker for it because of how much and I think everyone does this neo-noir sort of Blade Runner-esque cinematography that this film's got um, and I love it and I have no doubt it's going to be in my cinematography so the the cinematographer um, Dan Lauston uh, the two of his most recent films so he's worked a lot with um, uh, Guillermo Ooh. Um, so the, what, one of the most gorgeous films Guillermo's ever done is Crimson Peak if you've seen that I haven't um, it's but stunning and I can imagine thing, Guillermo he did the cinematography for The, the Shape of Water wow so it, yeah that's it's a, it's a really no surprise then did he do number two with John Wick uh, he did do number two no oh, that's nice it, yeah it feels like a natural sort of progression but it, it, it does the first feel one, though. yeah well uh, you can kind of tell if you're looking when you're looking back it's at it it's a smaller film the first one yeah exactly um and it's, you kind of get that kind of Terminator vibe where two is almost just like one again, but with money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Keanu Reeves just crushes this role. It feels like yeah. a role 
you, you don't give him a, a role necessarily. He's not the best, most comfortable actor if you give him lots of lines. Give him, give him the odd few words every now and then, and just let him let, learn his this action that he's obviously committed to doing. Um, I'll happily watch as many John Wick films as we're ever going to get in this world. Agreed, agreed. I'll, I'll keep taking what they're throwing at me. Yeah. I think now it's just, it's one of those things where often with trilogies you think like, oh, is there one that's going to let it down slightly? But they've just kept up in their game. Yeah, it keeps up in the game. And it's and now up there with, with some of the best cinematic trilogies of yeah. all time. Yeah, it has to be. Awesome. And like, action franchise wise, you could, what are you going to pair, compare it to? Mission Impossible, Fast and Furious? Yeah. And like, yeah, it, no, it's, it's definitely up there and talking around those, those for me and Oh, yeah, I really just want to see more. Great score from Tyler Bates as well. Like, yeah. Really like cool, just theme. Yeah. It feels like a western at times. Yeah. It's, it's, it's such a fascinating little film. And yeah. It's, each like cast of characters is, is amazing. Yeah. So I just can't wait to see what's next. I really yeah. can't. I really can't. Uh, hopefully next year. I just want it as soon as possible. What's your score? I'm going five out of five. I'm going it has five to be five, five out of five. Well. It's my favourite film of the year so far. It just, the, I think the film before that was Us and it's obviously difficult to compare it wise but different films, yeah. completely different film but for me like they're just the amount I can just sit there and just not think about anything and just let my appreciate that gorgeous stunt work and cinematography of this and the great world that they've built and that's why it's a 5 out of 5 I, I couldn't agree more. My, my heart was racing the whole time. Yeah. I felt exhausted after watching it. It doesn't feel like a two hours and twenty minutes film. Oh, it it flies, flies it and flies. there's just non-stop action the entire time and I, more. I, I can't wait to revisit. Yeah. Same. Um, same. So yeah, let us know what you guys thought of um, of John Wick Three Parabellum. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, make sure you go and check it out as soon as possible. We'll see it on the big screen as well. Mm. Because you'll, you'll watch the, yeah, watch the other two first. Yeah. If you, um, if, you, if, you, if you if you haven't seen them yet, they are. They're fantastic. Yeah, they're, really, they're really incredible. Really, really great films. And they've overtaken Avengers this box box office weekend. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, so yeah, check it out. Uh, let us know what you thought of it below. Um, let us know what you thought personally. Um, at you know on Twitter, I'm at Mr. TT Green. James is at Floodgate Twenty Eight. Mm-hmm. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're on iTunes. We're on Spotify. We're on YouTube. I don't know where you're listening to us now, but you can find <laughs> us on all those other places if that's what you'd prefer. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you.